Hello y'all, welcome back to Amber's Journey. Today we're gonna go over my February setup for my monthly and my first weekly payday. Um, I know I didn't do a cash stuffing last payday and I will show you why. Um, <clears throat> so my last payday, I projected more than what I actually made. Um, my commissions and everything were not good. It was a slow month. So as you can see, I had to readjust. Therefore, I had no seeking funds and no extra debt payments, no savings, nothing put away, because I didn't have it. Um, so that's why that wasn't there. I have been keeping up with all of this here. Um, and then now I'm gonna get into February. I did already lay out all my stickers. Um, and I got all of these customized stickers here from Lexington Flare. And then the other ones are these ones that I got from Planner Envy. Um, I freaking love them because they're all different colors. I can use them for different sheets. Um, I'm gonna use some of the greener ones for next month for March and we'll see how that all goes. But, um, <clears throat> and then the rest of these was um, little freebies from Lexington Flair, and then these are stickers from the um, Happy Planner Productivity book. But I have all of my stuff laid out. I have Valentine's Day marked. I have all of my bills, and I have them color coded. So each payday has a color. Anything that's purple this month means it was already paid with my previous check uh, this month in January. So these ones have already been paid. And then um, the green is for this payday here on the 4th. So everything here with green on it. Um, and then I'm even going to use some of it towards the car insurance too, which I need to probably put a sticker there. So car insurance is going to get split into this month. And then with this payday, everything's blue. So, and then some of the blue is also going to run into um, March because I do pay rent with this last check in each month. Um, since this month is running a little short, um, you know, rent's going to be due less than, less than normal. But anyways, I digress. So I have everything here. I do write me out myself a little expense log cheat sheet of all of my fixed expenses. Some of my pricings have changed. This is what I'd like to pay each month, although my car payment is actually a lot less than that. GM is my car loan. But this is my monthly budget. <clears throat> so I predict if I do my hourly, this is how much I should make as long as I'm working 40 hours. Commissions, it's been a really slow time, so I'm, I'm only projecting 500 for the month. Um, and this is after 401k, Roth IRA, insurance, taxes is all drawn out. This is only take home pay. So I'm projecting this much for the month, which is a really low month for us. Um, so we are gonna have to cut back on a lot of things. Um, so all the regular bills are here. And this is always rent for the next month because February is already paid. So we are saving up for the next month. And then our variable expenses, food, spending for me, spending for my hubby, uh, money put away for our daughter, and then gas money, um, which I'm just now re realizing this is how much I need every two weeks. So this is actually gonna take this away too. It'll still add up to the same, but this extra 49, I knew it didn't look right. <laughs> this extra 49 instead of going to one month ahead is gonna go towards gas. That should be enough for the month. Um, I need to put money in for the car. Um, we do have to go get that fixed and get it plated before June. And it's gonna cost us a pretty penny. A uh, little extra more money put away for my daughter. Our Sam's membership's coming up in March, so I wanna have at least half of that saved up before it hits. And then Tank is our dog, so I like to put money away for dog food, um, any other things he may need. Um, he's an older dog, so he does take vitamins and fish oil and things like that. And then these are our debt payments. Dentist for my daughter, that automatically comes out. Um, after pay, money key or loans, and then PayPal also is there. I got all that budgeted out. I'm hoping that this is low balling. I hope that I don't run into the same problem I did last time where I overshot the budget. 
because that makes it a little bit harder. Um, so this is what we're planning on doing for everything. And once I get paid on Friday the 4th, then I will go through and do my actuals with you and we'll do a cash stuffing for the month. Um, and then the, I love doing this because this is these are things that never change each month. So uh, it makes it a little easier. And then these are temporary things that will be auto pays for now. Um, and then this is the weekly for the first week. So this is what I project my, my check will be on Friday. And then this is what we're paying on Spire. I did pay half of it already, but the other half needed to still be paid. So that's still on here. Um, car note, all of that. And then for the car insurance, it falls on my next payday, but my next payday pays rent. So I'm going to have half of it now for the insurance. So that way we have it covered whenever it does come out. Most of this stuff is auto pay when it comes to the fixed expenses. Um, the only thing I pay out of pocket or um, uh, manually is Amber Inspire and my car note. Everything else, everything else is an auto pay. And then for the first week, we're going to do 200 for food. We're going to try to. That's a really low number for us. Um, gas, $40. And then our spending money for the month. And then my daughter. And we're not going to have any sinking funds or extra debt payments unless my check is bigger than what I projected. Now, if it's bigger, then that'll be awesome. We'll be able to put some money towards this. But as of right now, we got to make sure all of this is paid first before we get into those. Um, so you guys will take that journey with me. This is real life budgeting. Sometimes I have money for sinking funds. Sometimes I don't, especially when you have variable income. Um, my monthly pays the bills for my wages. My commissions is that extra money, quote unquote. But um, usually I have really good commissions. And as of right now, because of the slow season, I haven't had a whole lot. So I'm just, I'm hoping that, that I'm wrong on this and I get a higher commissions. Um, it's just a rough time right now. It's slowed down in the season. But this is where we're at for the first week of February. Um, I will be back with you guys at the end of this week once I get my paycheck and see what it'll be. And I'll go over what the actual is going to do. And we may adjust some of these things. But as of right now, this is what it looks like. Um, if you guys like the content. Um, oh, and also, this is the Organized Money Budget Planner love it. I love the layout. It's very simple. It's very um, plain. So I can I can decorate if I want to. Um, I can do whatever I want. And then I started my starting balances up here last month. Don't know if I'm going to continue that because it's harder whenever everything's like automatic. So I could put my beginning my beginning budget here, but most of the time it means that something hasn't come out yet. So I'm not even worried about that. I do like to keep a cushion in my account, and I do have a separate savings that I'm also trying to save towards. So we'll see how it all goes. But I really love the layout of this with the pinks and the reds and everything. Um, and then I did just post a video with me and my daughter who, who helped me do my everyday planner with my vertical planning. First time using that. If you like all of this, please subscribe, like, comment. Tell me what you think. Um, do you have any any suggestions on things that I could do to maybe adjust my budgets? Do you have any suggestions on planning? Anything like that? Just uh, your, if you like it or not, let me know. And in the meantime, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in my next video.